Hi, Sam. Nice. Spiritual Barbie here. Welcome back to the channel. Let's have a look at your love life now over the next seven days, my saggy loves. All right. What's going on? Okay. So Sagittarius is watching this here today. There's definitely some gossip monger. Some people trying to, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to do like mental magic in your love connection. They're trying to do some mental alchemy and stuff like that, but they're doing it the wrong way. Somebody's gossiping, trying to split you up, trying to be like, oh, ba da da. That's not what it is, okay? Um, you gotta get clear. I feel like it's a lot of noise around you. Just get clear. There's a lot of just people trying to be like doing all that extra stuff, okay? So the first card we have here is the hermit, okay? Yes. Okay. Yep. This person, they were dealing with it. If you weren't dealing with, with it, they were. This person is withdrawn from that. They're done with it. They're healing their mind from it. God has finally entered their fucking brain. Okay, so in the recent past, um, Ace of Wands, I mean, Ace of Swords. So clarity, all right? This person got, they got a new beginning. Woo, this person understands this connection now. I feel like something that this, no, this person did not understand. They didn't understand. Either this person's just stupid or maybe they just don't understand things. Or, you know, this person was just, like I said, they were just gaslit. This person was split up. There were so many bitches that didn't want you guys together. I'm telling you right now. It was a lot of bitches that didn't want you guys together. Okay? Sagittarius, this might be part two. Okay? So, uh, a while back, um, something happened. It was a devastating experience. You guys have never moved on from it. Okay? So, this person is finally withdrawn. And they've gotten their confidence. This person is just withdrawn into their confidence. And giving themselves the validation and the vindication that they need. This person was always listening to other people's opinions about this connection and about being with you or about like what was going on on the side. And, oh, he's oh he's messing with me. That's the type of people that you were around and stuff like that or that this person was around. And this person is just coming away from them. So are you. You know, they're just, um, something has happened, you know. You know, they just had some spiritual ailment. They went to go, like they probably went to school. They might have started working out or something like that. And they just got clarity about haters you know what i'm saying yeah this person they stepped into their authority they minded their business and started focusing on what was this person just needs to focus on what's in front of their faces stop trying to be in everybody else's business and that's it they just need to focus on what's in front of what god gave them like what is you know what do they have authority and control over so go and work on that you notice some folks that's like they're never focused they never focus on and then they never have what they they're never doing the bare minimum for what they're focused on and then they want to tell you about what you're working on, okay? I feel like you guys, this person, they were dealing with a whole lot of just mixy mess. If it wasn't so, like what I just explained, then it was just thoughts and trollops, you know, trying to come in. It was definitely a lot of people trying to bring about unhappiness and, and anxieties, people trying to bring in anxiety, unrestedness, um, a lack of rest, um, people trying to bring in um, STIs, narcissism, people trying to, people are trying to, people were trying to bring in all that stuff, okay? Trying to bring in, um, devastation, loss of limb, death, the murder. Like some of you guys was dealing with people that there was karmics around. They wanted to kill the divine feminine masculine type. They wanted to kill him or her so that they could be with the, with the divine masculine or, or divine feminine. That's what they wanted to do to you. Mm. This person stopped letting people define the world for them, okay? They used to let everybody define the world for them. And they were dealing with a trollop, a psychotic, heroin-addicted trollop, okay? All right, whose name begins with an S. She's a whore, right? They were listening. This broad was doing spell work. Of course she was. She's so desperate and basic. That's the only thing she has to hold on to. But it doesn't work for her. She's not a witch, okay? That's what she's healing and realizing. This person is also realizing that they dealt with a lot of mental unrest from this heroin addict. Even if they didn't do spell work on this person, um, this heroin addict, right, she... She was just um, a hater. She was jealous. She wanted to have someone that was way above her, and she wanted to drag him down to her hell. And this person really wanted nothing to do with her, honestly. And so she decided that she was going to thwart your connection and thwart your, your college degree. Or She was going to thwart your life, okay? She was just going to thwart something. Your job, high school, um, even elementary school. Some of you guys, middle school. The, a teacher, she was on heroin. Uh, a student, in, when you were 13, I'm hearing, they were on heroin. There was a lot of people around you who were on heroin, okay? And that's why these people showed up. People showed up a certain way. It's because they were on heroin. And that's why it was so exhausting to deal with them. They were on heroin, okay? So, um, you know, you guys are moving on from this. And so is this person is, is giving themselves peace of mind from this experience and dealing with this heroin addict, okay? Because this person really disheveled them and made them feel really unrested and crazy and stuff like that. But they were just on heroin. 
Okay? And they were lying about it. And I feel like this person was also trying to tell this person about their connection. But this person was a dirty slut is what I'm hearing. Okay? This person got some clarity about who was trapping them how, and how trapped they were. And how I'm hearing those bitches were trapping them. So it's like the people around them were trapping them. The people around them that were posing them, posing as friends, posing as a partnerships, allies. Maybe they weren't friends, but they were trying to be like allies, work together, do business together, um, do committee stuff together, work on community stuff together. They were thwarting and trying to warp up and gaslight like this person's perception, trying to trap this. This person, they were so fucking jealous of them because of what they were getting from you is what I'm hearing, Sag. So they tried to tell this person all this crazy stuff. They were This person had already mental wounds that made it possible um but these people capitalized off of it and they devastated this connection but they needed to go through that because i feel like i'm hearing something along the lines of some sort of illegal activity so um you know i feel like this person here they were trying to protect you or protect themselves from getting some ramifications for having done something illegal all right you guys so as you can see here um this person got the truth Okay, they had a judgment call. So did you. Oh, apologies. So, um, you know, this person had a judgment call and so did you. This person went through a lot. They, they went through a lot of stuff that made them see things differently and more clearly, okay? And they also um, acknowledged a heavy burden that they were carrying that they put down. They went through this process with spirit, I swear to God. This took like five, six, seven years. Um, yeah, this person needed to see how much this person did not see that they were worthy. This person didn't even think that they were worthy enough of your love, let alone that you love them the way. Because I feel like Sagittarius, wherever you are, you really love this person. Like, you love this person so fiercely, right? But this person, they didn't see it. They had a lot of fake people around them that was gaslighting them. It was, it was a lot of karmics. It was a lot of folks that was just trying to switch you guys up. It was a lot of folks that they just had their own agenda. You know, they wanted recognition from this person. You know what I mean? And also, there's also spirit intervening as well. With these people here, spirit was intervening, okay? So this person needed to go through this in order for you guys to have your wish come true, okay? You are this person's wish come true, okay? And this person is your wish come true, okay? That's why you, you had to go through this. You had to go through an experience because you were trapped in something. It was so devastating, but it's, you know, you just went through something. Um, that's, you just had a, you just, it's like wounding. That's what happens when you're wounded and stuff like that. Like you just go through stuff like this. And then you have to be devastated now. You gotta get devastated. So that you could, um, what's it called? So that you could deal with yourself because you're not dealing with yourself. Perhaps this is a wound from the age of three years old. You know how much um, shadow work you have to do? You know how much combing back you have to do to unearth pain without witchcraft, obviously, um, to unearth pain from the age of three years old. That's like pain. That, that's the, that's probably the pain that, you have gone through that you don't even understand why you do this and you know you're sabotaging yourself but you do it anyways that's that pain comes from the age of three experiences so a lot of times people having issues in love they have experience at three that that kind of formulates their love life so when they're going through pain or whenever people like wish or pray for each other things happen that send them back to the to that age so they usually get devastated down so they can uncover the pain okay you wouldn't, if you're happy, why would you uncover pain, okay? But that's the pain, that's, that's the pain, that's the seed to the tree that is like blocking you from being with somebody who you really wish to be with. And so is this person, this person, the same thing. It's, that's, God really has a fucking weird way. Every day I realize that, okay? So this person, they had a, um, uh, they, they were devastated. Um, this person also confronted their sadness. They, re no, this person, Sag, the pain that this person felt about losing you, not having you in their life, they, they also went through a change, an emotional change around you. And this person, they, they never wanted to confront it. They just sat, sat, they didn't, they didn't want to confront it. No, there's some things that happen, you don't want to confront it. There's some things that happen that's just like, mm -mm. it's from the age of three. That's why, that's why, that's why, you know, you have to go back because you know, if this person's 50 something years old or 60 or 40 or even 20, they have built a tree that is rotting or just not good for them. But it's because they got a seed when they were three, that was bullshit. But you know, children are very magical. Children are amazing. They can do anything. So when you, I mean, that's why I hate bad mothers and I hate bad fathers and stuff because you guys are trash. Um, and it's because when you are a bad parent, you just, you just fucked up your entire legacy. 
like your kid could grow up and run into some bad shit and fuck themselves over and your kid is carrying your legacy unless you have another kid it's just like it's so stupid so um it's just like you need to confront your sadness you can't just you can't just pretend like you're not sad or you can't just you know get hooked on something that makes you forget it or, or put it on somebody else always all of them oh it's such and such it can't always be such and such okay sometimes it's you okay sometimes you have to look at yourself or you're going to be stuck in a bad situation constantly and it's not that simple it's not you can't karmic your way out of it okay you can either pay for a spell working from a witch or you could just you know do meditations do the shadow work confront your emotions in the moment deal with your emotions when they're happening okay don't pretend stop being fake this person used to be fake this person used to love to be fake as fuck and pretend like oh nothing's wrong and it's because this person they like to stand their ground they didn't want niggas to see them falling and slipping and they also this person is a warrior they're a spiritual warrior they're just a warrior this person they will fight like if if they're scratched up and they're about to like if they're they could be two breaths away from dying they're still gonna be fighting this person is just a fighter <laughs> that's just how they are okay that's just that's their gift they're, this person is very abundant in this way because of their fighting spirit they will always have abundance okay when they always answer this call of a fighting spirit that's their abundance right there so that's the reason why they're that way and that's why god doesn't thwart them for being that way but it's just that this connection got thwarted because because this person wasn't confronting their pain you know they have a gift of spiritual fighting not a gift of ignoring pain <laughs> and projecting onto everybody else. That's not your gift, bitch. That's not your gift, bitch. Your gift is you're supposed to you're supposed to defend yourself from spiritual attack and let niggas know that they're just hating. Okay, that's it. You're not supposed to sit there and devastate folks. That's my job. It's my job. Okay, I'm supposed to devastate the scene. <laughs> I'm just joking, you guys. No, but seriously. That's, you know, this person, they were, they were just thwarted down. <laughs> this person, <laughs> who knows? They got sick, something happened, who knows? They're always getting thwarted down and they deserve it in the moment. But um, ultimately this person, because they were thwarted down, this person had a new beginning <laughs> in truth. And this person also um, confronted, they realized that they were just trapped in fear and there was a lot of hate. <laughs> it's just funny because it was just so many little haters. And, and that's why I feel like they're at the end of the journey because it's like, I feel like in the beginning, they were just, ah, they were like, it was like, oh my God, it's biting me. Like they didn't realize you could just move away from the hornet's nest and just swat them bitches off of you or, or get in water and drown these motherfuckers. Like, I don't know. Like this person was just staying in a bad situation, being devastated and then devastating everybody else and then staying devastated and then devastating niggas who didn't devastate them. Like this person, they have a weird way of processing their emotions that they need to stop doing. I also feel like somebody left their life as well. Perhaps they're having issues and difficulties with a child or a daughter because this person is standing their ground. <laughs> because that's also where their abundance comes from as well. <laughs> so perhaps this person is dealing, they're dealing with a child or somebody who's just like them. They, the person might even look just like them and they're just looking at themselves and getting irritated in, in the mirror because they should have been doing that in the beginning. That's why, no, if this person has a child that's identical to them, it's because this person, Whatever this this person and this child clash about, that is something that this person has needed to take a look at from the fucking, from day one, they have never done it. And that's why I'm saying, three years old, it's not your fault. Ooh, cause this person, ooh, this person just, don't even, don't even open the door to this person. Don't even open the door. I feel like this person realized, that's why they can open the door for them and stuff like that. I feel like people don't even deal with this person too much. Like after a while, they just pull off. And niggas might not pull off on everybody, but they definitely pull off on this person because this person is devastating. This person is devastating. There's no love. There is no love. <laughs> Cause she's always fighting and beefing and she's always connecting to, to devastated bras. They just, want to, they, they just want to devastate her. And it's because she's devastated. And she won't deal with the fact that she's devastated. And this person realizes, or he or she, it's like, it's, it's funny because we're done. That's why it's funny because this person already had this realization in the recent past. They already, it's funny because this person isn't doing this anymore. Now this person is completely withdrawing from bullshit and they're accepting that you are their divine masculine or they are your divine masculine and they're stepping into this role and they're just doing it, okay? And um, so they're just gonna be confident and move on, have peace of mind and just trust their guardian angel about you. Their guardian angel has been guiding them. This person, it's like they went off on their own. 
that's what it, that's what it feels like somebody just went off. It's like, no, no, no. There's so much love right here. It's just that this person might have felt like they weren't worthy of it or they felt like they fucked up. Or this person, it feels like something else happened. It feels like something else happened, but it didn't really have anything to do with you guys. But this person took off because of it because they were embarrassed. And they also felt, and there was a lot of little trollops. It was a lot of little, of course, it's always, every time, every time you're having relationship issues, it's a trollop. I promise. I promise you. I promise you. I swear. Every time you're having relationship, and you can't, what's going on in his head? I don't know what she's thinking. Why did she do that? It's a trollop. It's a trollop. Not too far. She was working hard, bro. She didn't even work that hard at the strip club last night. She hardly broke $200 for her pimp and stuff like that. She, come on now. <laughs> she she she's a trollop okay she was working harder than than a stripper okay at a strip club on a friday night okay she was working fucking hard to to cause issues so she could come in and spread her little karmic puss with her diseases inside of it because it's always a disease karmic vagina always has diseases in it. karmic penis might not because sometimes karmic penis is very um, it's questionable it's very difficult to read but karmic vagina almost always has like bv yeast because there's no other reason why you're that way other than the fact that you got a uti or something like that or not even that you got a um but when you're being karmic you got a uti or a yeast infection i promise i know it's a lot but i promise you just take a center down and and feel how that area feels and you probably feel like it burns or it itches you have a yeast infection sometimes you don't figure out you have a yeast infection until it's like days later like weeks later even sometimes it's days honestly you don't even realize it you're just like shitty and sad you know, and then you realize, ow, my vagina really itches or whatever the fuck your symptoms are, right? So that's just all it is. There's nothing wrong with you. You just have an infection, okay? Go get some medication or you got, you know, you got a virus and that shit is here to stay like corn. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So um, this person, their thoughts is on a new beginning. Yes, this person wants a new beginning with you. This person's also feeling like they have a new beginning with you. Um, this person's also manifesting you. This person is, if this person knows a witch, they paid them. Okay. Listen to me, Sarge. If they know a witch, they've paid the witch. I promise. So long as you've made your payment, the work you should go through. Okay. That's what it is. They've made the payment. Honey. Woof. Mm -hmm. And the invoice got sent back. Mm -hmm. I saw it. I saw it in my mind's eye. I promise. He paid the witch or she paid the witch, or if she's a witch or he's a witch, they're doing spell work. Ooh, they're doing heavy fucking. Ooh, this person, they don't sleep. They're the devil. This person never sleeps. This person only sleeps. I feel like if this person, this person might only sleep if they're drugged or something like that. <laughs> oh, this person never sleeps. They don't sleep. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, this person is a witch. They don't sleep. Okay. And they're working. This person is. It's like somebody paid them like 10 grand. That's how this person is working on this on this, on this on this connection using this spell work. But it's like somebody paid them 10 grand to benefit this connection because this person just, they want to revitalize. This person wants you back. They realize, this person is real. No, they're going to real. Zatch. That's why I stop before y'all don't listen to me. I, no, no, y'all quick. Stop it. Okay, listen to me. Let me speak. They've realized that they're stupid. And that you're their divine masculine or that they're your divine masculine. There's no one else. They've realized you cannot, you cannot just go and be with somebody else without them driving you crazy because you got a wound and that's why you're with them. And then once you heal the wound, there's no connection anymore. Or the connection grows eventually, but you just left somebody behind that really loves you. This person is realizing this about you. Like, I feel like this person has been trying to either replace you or this person has been trying to move on from this connection, but they just can't move on. You just can't be with more than you just can't be with more than one person is what I'm hearing, or you just can't you just have to be with your person. You know, there's there's a person out there for all of us, and I feel like this person is realizing you're the person that's out there for them. You were or you are. Maybe this person didn't know, but for, I feel like for a lot of you guys, this person knew. You were perfect for them, Zad. You were perfect for this person. I just said this person didn't think that they, they deserved perfect. They didn't think that they deserved perfect. No. Isn't that sad? You were exactly what they wanted in every way. And if there's nothing you needed to change, not at all, inside or out, not at all. But this person, they just, they didn't feel good enough. 
because they had everything that they wanted and they were looking in the mirror like, I don't like what I see, you know? So this person, they, they had trauma. They had trauma. Oh, this person was traumatized. They were so traumatized. Um, but this person here, um, they are manifesting you, okay? They're manifesting the confidence. They need the confidence. They need confidence, okay? And then also, they need just the chutzpah. They need the gall, the bravado, whatever it is. They just need to um, be confident, right? This person is also um, manifesting a move, a victory with you. Like, it feels like this person wants to move things along. They want to um, feel, like, in charge and, like, in control and, like, they want. If there's something that you guys need to do, if there's something, if there's a competition, if there's someone or something around them that is making it feel, making them feel like they can't have you, stuff like that, they're, they're, working on overcoming this but i feel like this is like very spiritual where this person is realizing they're gaining an awareness about the fact that they've already had the victory with you this person didn't know no sad they didn't know that they had the victory with you sad i'm looking at the sad this is a sad card this is a sad card okay this person did they didn't know they had a victory with you they didn't know this person thought this person just thinks that they're weird is what i'm hearing they just think that they're weirdo they just are fine with it but this person just thinks that most people just wouldn't be into them so they just stay to themselves or they just pull off. They just don't, they don't think that they're offending you. They don't realize how much they broke your heart because they don't, they think that they're doing you a favor, honestly. This person thinks that, um, you know, they always think that their the joke is being played on them. This person has been very traumatized, you guys. Very traumatized. They needed to be off on their own, this person did. And I feel like this person, they're very loving. They might be in a profession of loving others, caring for others, or they're just a caring person. They're always there for other fucking people. And this person, you know, it's not like they, this person is there for themselves, but they just really needed to go and be really, 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 fully, 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 fully there for themselves. They did. Ooh. So this person, they love you. They just cannot, this person has nothing but memories of love for you. This person, they just can't, they're like, well, what happened? Nothing went wrong, you know, but something else happened. I feel like something happened around and then, they, oh no. But then it fell apart a little bit. Like maybe embar embarrassment, I mean, embarrassed. Somebody was embarrassed, you know, something happened. This person was embarrassed, okay? But they, um, they miss you. They, this person loves you. Oh my gosh. This person loves you. They loved you. They were sad to let you go. This person just felt like, they just, I'm hearing, I keep on moving on. So this person, they might feel like they always have to keep on moving. Okay? So they, that's how they felt about you. They just didn't, this person did not want it. They were confronting so much other shit. You know what I mean? They, I feel like there was other things going on. They just didn't want to deal with it. Oh my God. They just didn't want to deal with it. Mm -mm. I feel like you guys might be super attracted to this person. Like there's nothing wrong with this person to you. Like, to them, they're perfect. No matter what they do, they're perfect. Um, you know, but this person, they don't see themselves that way. And they dealt with a lot of abuse because of it. Because they don't see themselves that way, they put up with a lot of crap from fucking people who are addicts, people who are stuck in this low down energy, people who are addicts who they can't live without certain things. Oof. All right. Um, So there are religious factors affecting your love life. This person, you know, you guys might have been a different religion from each other, or this person, you know, they don't, they might do things a certain way because of their religion, okay? So if this person was acting a certain way, it's because of their beliefs. You know, this person believes in waiting until a certain time before certain things happen, okay? This person also believes in, like, I'm doing celibacy. So this person might practice celibacy. They might just willingly go into celibacy, okay? This person might just cut everything off. Like, this person just decides to just like, you know, they're very, they're, this person is weird. They're just connected to their spirit. They're so spiritual. Like they, it doesn't matter. It feels, you know, if it's June, this person's, oh yeah, they're going to start. This person is just like that. Okay. So that's the factor that's causing issues in this connection because this person, because of their spiritual path and their religious upbringing, they push certain things away. Um, they don't deal with certain things in time or they have, were taught to do things a different way. Um, and also for like the woo-woo type, you know, for their like spiritual path and stuff like that. 
it's like some of them like they're spiritually they might feel led in a sexual nature while some of us spiritually feel led in a more um uh, speaking nature more of a uh, artistic design nature or even prophetic you know love uh, dating coach or just um what's it called counselor you know some people they channel their spirituality through different chakras some people choose to channel their spirituality through their base chakra you know so they choose to be you know do certain things that other people wouldn't do to survive or just for a living they might do a job they might strip you know what i mean and that's their spiritual path because that's just like okay that's for them they're fine with that that's their spiritual path or they might sell drugs or something like that that's their spiritual path you know but that's their they're choosing to express it in their root chakra you know you know if somebody is deciding to be more like you know fluid sexually fluid you know then they're expressing their spirituality through their sacral and like that's just so some people express it different and so you have issues you know some people might go ahead and fuck you over or go ahead and plot on you to fuck you over or con you know contort and connival folks to fuck you over while some other people might get together and plot and you know sit there and talk about stuff or sit there and connive on their own some other folks will just go and devastate you know because that's how that's like how your spirit expresses itself so this person they just have a different way of doing it than you okay that's all um, and that's, you know, that's what's, because this person, it might explain why they did certain things, okay? Let it go. Okay. This man really loves you, okay? Somebody wants you to be with them no matter what. Somebody wants you to be with them because you want to, not because you feel guilty. Somebody wants you to make a decision and love because because of how you feel, you know, not because of um, what you think you should do. Okay, this person does. That's what they want you to do, and that's what this person is starting to do too. Okay, all right. I love you guys. I'm gonna head out. Bye, Sag. I'm probably gonna come out with another karmic love reading very soon, so look out for those. You guys are the only sign that knows that. You guys remember to like your weekly readings. By the way, I didn't tell any other sign. But remember to like your weekly readings so that um, you can get your messages from your personal readings. I don't always do those for every sign because sometimes I just feel like, you know, I have too much on my plate or I just need to, you know, look after myself more than I normally do. Or I'm just, I'm just like really stressed and just having a meltdown type of thing. So um, I need to like schedule that in sometimes. So sometimes I just don't overwork. So I just go by likes with that. And that's what I'm deciding to do. That's why Aquarius and Gemini got theirs. Taurus is also going to get theirs, as well as I think it's Libra. Is it Taurus? I think Taurus. Okay. So, and then I think Libra as well. So, Taurus and Libra, look out for your messages from your person readings as well, if you're watching this. Um, and you guys remember to like these readings if you want to see your messages from your person readings, okay? I love, it's just for the weekly readings, okay? Not even for the monthlies. The monthlies you can like, though. Like the monthlies, yeah, like them all. All right, you guys. Love you. Talk soon. Bye-bye.